Hello, I'm Chris, this is Gross Models. Welcome to part five of building the Bandai 1-144 Millennium Falcon. Uh, this is the bit that finishes off the main build, hopefully, uh, the, the top hull. Uh, as you've been, hopefully, watching the, the previous builds, you've seen the, the bottom levels and the uh, mandibles and the cockpit come together. So this is the final bit. Now, I've already done the interior of the top uh, gun turret. So for this next part, we need to, say the whole thing, uh, get the windows masked off. I'm going to be priming and painting those as well. Uh, that will then go over there, that goes into there, and then that goes onto the main body. And then onwards from there. So the first thing is masking. Uh, now, if any of you have seen or done any masking before, you know how much fun it can be. Now for this little bit, I uh, need to get a few things ready. Uh, I've got some Tamiya uh, masking tape, the very thin stuff, because obviously it's pretty small, so I'm doing very thin things. Uh, I've got a sharp blade and a small pair of tweezers just to make grabbing the tape easier, if need be. Uh, now for this, what I'm gonna do is basically take a section of tape just stick it down lightly to my mat and then using the knife I've been cutting the shape now this is almost big enough actually is just big enough to do each stretch so I need to get the same outside curve there onto this tape now pretty much freehanding it is often close enough so I'm gonna get an idea Try that and see what happens basically. Uh, so that's in theory the outside edge and the inside edge and I do need to cut down the edges. Now the thing with uh, masking, if you go too much then obviously you can cut it back. If you don't go far enough, then you can actually sort of put more on, basically. So I'm gonna go from one edge and see how that looks. Yeah, that's just a bit too long. So it's not wide enough either, but as I say, that's the least of the problem. So I'm just gonna cut down that inside piece, just that touch. Hopefully that, if I'm on camera here, it's just about right for one part of that window. Let's get that into the edges. Now these, this, this is a raised detail that I'm going into, so I can actually feel the edge there. So I just need a thin strip down that side, and then we're done. So I can actually use one of these offcuts it's too big, so let's get rid of that. Let's go for another one that's a bit shorter. Cut that down. And try that. There you go, that just fills in that gap there. So that's one of the windows covered. So uh, I need to do all the rest and obviously the center window as well the outside edge is going to be covered when it goes in there anyway so that's not got to be transparent it's only the what have we got uh two three four five six seven eight eight windows and the one center so i'll get the rest of these cut off and primed on uh stuck on and then get it done in a black primer um actually before i paint i'll be cutting off a few more bits from the instructions this is obviously the bit that I've prepared already the window to go on the top and that to hold it in place now these stickers I'm not going to be doing probably not at all uh, certainly not until it's been painted uh, but we've got uh, a couple of bits on the interior that need to get in first uh, then going onwards we've got the outside uh, covers to the exhaust base and then 
lots of the bits around the edge, same as on the bottom. Uh, the same triangular bits that go onto the bottom as well. A couple of different greebles on the top. And then it's putting it all together. Uh, yep, that's that. Then there's a couple of uh, the radar dish, the guns, and the landing gear to sort out. So I'm having it in uh, a landed configuration. So I've got to sort out the landing gear, but not too many more pieces to worry about. But uh, lots of painting to do afterwards. So uh, I'll go away, get the rest of these done, and then come back and show you what I've got. Right, everything is primed in black. Now there's a couple of bits that need some sort of uh, pre-shading detail work. Um, I've done this on some of the other pieces from the previous parts of the build from the underside. I'm not sure how well it's going to work and I don't want to know until I get rid of painting it, but I'm going to add some detail in here. If it gets covered up, it gets covered up. Uh, using some gunmetal, uh, brass, aluminium and chrome. Basically, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to show everything because there's not much point. Give the paint a shake up. Just get a couple of drops out on a plastic board here. Uh, this is the gunmetal that I'm starting with. And with a, a very fine brush. Hopefully I'm not going to be knocking the camera out of the way. And hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Uh, basically, just adding some details to some of these pieces not over the top just a couple of little bits here and there uh, some bigger than others sort of just picking out some random panels and components inside these pieces and then I'll go back in and do the same thing again with a different colour and a different colour and a different colour basically until it's done and I'll show you what it's like when it's finished so it's not going to be a big block of colour it's just going to be little touches like that mainly on the inside pieces just a couple on the larger top pieces because I'm pretty sure they're going to get covered up by paint When I do the insignia of white over the top, so uh, I'll say get the rest of the colours done, and then show you what this looks like afterwards. Okay, there we go. It's not dry yet, but I've just uh, finished painting. I've also done the inside of the the top panel. Again, where you're not going to be able to get to that afterwards, and probably not going to come out. But you know. Uh, right, so there we have, say, the interior pieces and the outside bits that go over the top of them. Anyway, so hopefully most of that inside bit is just going to be protected. As I've said before, when I'm spraying the insignia white over the the outer. Falcon. I'm not going to be going directly down into these bays. I'm going to try and sort of skim over the top. So I'll get the pipes on the top, but hopefully leave a lot of the detail inside to be looking nice. Uh, right, I've got on my little trees all of the little greebles for around the edge of the top end of the engine and the top panels for the exhausts. I uh, also got the sensor dish in three pieces, which needs assembling and then painting. Uh, the top gun bay, which my masking wasn't as good as it should be. It has actually visibly come through, but I can't do anything about that now. So I'm going to go ahead and install it and prime it and then worry about removing the paint from the panels when I need to, when it's all done. So I've got lots of bits and other bits and more bits. Uh, so there's 13 of the little edge pieces for the, the back. There's the bigger greebles, greeblies for the other bit. Uh, so I'm going to let all them properly dry and then come back and show you installing some of them.
Right, the first step is putting this together. Now, as I say, I can leave the masking on and paint over the top of it when I need to, and then worry about cleaning up after the fact. But this has got to go in there first. So that all fits together nicely like that. And then the whole thing goes in. There are three cutouts on here, which go into the three cutouts on there. So you get it the right way around. Get it lined up. And then just pushing it home. Now, as ever, these are a, a nice fit anyway. Obviously, with the paint on top, it makes it a very nice fit. So no glue required. Just getting it into the right place. So it's not very bright here with all this black, so let's get an extra light in. There we go, how's that? Uh, that's that. As I did on the last one, I'm going to touch up the masking, the uh, priming once it's all assembled because no doubt the, you know, I need to glue these bits in so it's all going to come up a little bit. So that's that there. Then the other way, I'm actually going to use panel just to give me something to rest on. Uh, these three are next. Now these I will glue in place. At least this first one which goes just off camera obviously. Just in there. So I'm just going to get a little bit of extra thin in those holes and then throw it all in the wrong place. Let's get it in the right way around. That located into there and that is the first one in that little cover nice uh, as I say these are going to be filled with grime and weathering anyway as well so let's see we've got little cutouts on these that obviously only going one way around so that one goes there and that one goes over the back. Let's get those pushed in. They're nice and tight, not going to need to glue those in at all. Right, that's the outside bits done. Looking good. Then we've got the repetitive bit, which I'm not going to be showing you all of again. Basically, these 13 of these go right around the edge like that and then these four little triangular pieces uh, stand upright let's get one in the right place uh, about there like that and then I've got the covers that go over there as well hopefully that is coming out it's always black against black is not very clear but uh, those I'll get glued in uh, then come back and show you the extra bits all right that's the repetitive stuff all done uh, as I thought I would have to touch up the, the base coat that's uh, not a problem now I've got two extra bits to go in here just gonna add some extra thin in there for the very fine extra grievals on there and then one just below it there you go that's that looking good uh, right then we have the antenna dish now this being the Force Awakens version, it's the new square reel and it has to go the right way around, the little down bit goes up because there's a little up bit on there so I'm just going to push that through there go that's that and then 
again there's a little indentation on the bottom there and there's one prong on there so I'm just going to add something on there get that in the right place there and there we have that which goes on there I'm not going to install that quite yet because I need to there's no need to basically it's easier to leave that separate and then I can paint around it and then just push it in when it's done but for now that's that uh, right next up I have let's say re repriming to do on that but I'm not going to do that quite yet what I am going to do is prepare the rest of the bits to get them installed so I've got the two mandibles and the cockpit and I'll dig out the base piece and get it all together ready to go okay I have the base that was already done with the engines on it ready the two mandibles now these have got the holes in different positions so you can only get them on one way round so that goes in there getting quite a tight fit to make sure that's fully home because obviously the top piece has got to go on over the making sure that's where it needs to be looking good the other one the other side as well now my intention with the painting is to let the shadows take care of themselves hence the black undercoat so hopefully it will work and it's not far away from finding that out so we have those on there then we've got the top that just goes on the top obviously making sure everything lines up as it should this is why I didn't want to re repaint reprime this yet because I know it's going to get scuffed and everything from this piece of the assembly so just making sure everything lines up as far as you can see you can't see everything that's the trouble there's so many little bits that need to locate in I didn't count them but there's going to be lots something doesn't feel quite right over that side oh, there we go that's better I'm just working my way around it's sort of in a circle and just each time I pass around getting it down a little bit further each place obviously being careful of the extra fine bits that are obviously around the edge and on the top there that I think is that no that isn't that because these aren't fully down it's not fully in that's not quite right and that's not fully down so something's not right there there we go brute force and ignorance things I've got lots of always apply more of one if you haven't got enough of the other so there we have it ah except one more bit to install obviously none of this is being glued in place because it's just not necessary it's such a nice tight fit there's no need and it's nice to know that I could possibly get it apart if I need to right there we have mostly that's 
come back out so you can see hopefully all of it let's put the dish on just lightly there we go and that's mostly done there's the guns to go on there's the little cover across the back and on the bottom we've got the gangplank which I'm going to have out extended and the five feet and then remove the masking after priming after, after painting but that's all coming together rather nicely if I do say so myself the size of it is quite impressive considering it is a 144 kit I've got a tank real world tank just to give an idea as to the the scale of it in the real world so quite dramatically huge so actually even better while I'm here give an idea of the scale in the Star Wars universe I've got an X-Wing so there you go that's that right I'm going to reprime I say pretty much all of it where I need, where I need to get to little bits that need touching up here and there and then work on the landing gear and the ramp and the guns so I'll get them cut off the screw ready to go and uh, be with you in a moment all right I've got the last pieces ready for the the build we've got two identical sets for the guns the top and bottom guns uh, which I'm going to assemble and then prime before painting them and then assemble and put them onto the kit now these just snap together I say the top and bottom barrels go together and then that itself oh goes into that one goes over there just like that and then when ready that will slip onto the top or the bottom we've got the other one which I'll do in a moment we've got feet lots of feet there's five identical two different ones which pair up behind two of those and then you've got the three individuals uh, on top of those we have some little round discs that have got one uh, square flat side obviously it goes on only the one way round so all of those are assembled like that and then they go into some different bits which I've got over the side here uh, basically there's two surrounds that cover the bit like that and then over the top of the top bit go those two whichever way around it is they go I'll figure it out and then that goes into the the hole in the bottom of the falcon I'll figure it out when I get to put them together oh there we go that's got to go over there like that and like that because oh, they're the, the open bottom base so what I'm going to be doing is not putting those covers on yet because they need to be in the insignia these bits will go together and they again need to be primed but then brush paint or probably brush painted I haven't thought about that too far yet to get them into the right sort of metallics and grimy colours that they're going to be make sure they line up okay probably first actually yeah uh, so I'll get these so all together and assemble oh, the last bit is the gangway which obviously comes down underneath the bottom of that's going to be in the insignia uh, as I think of the interior walls but they basically snap together like that these are fitted up inside so the only bit that is visible is the bit on the inside 
and that then goes onto there. So again, that's not going to be assembled until it's painted, because that needs to be in different colours, especially the bottom bit and these pipes, which are going to be harder to paint when they're together. So I'm going to take them back apart again, hopefully. Didn't even push it all the way together, and they're such a good fit. They they're tight. Oh well. I work on getting them apart. Might need to get a tool out. Oh, there we go. Don't need the tools to get them apart. So the interior detail on there. And so it's going to be mainly insignia, with some detail work on those. But I need to do that before it's assembled. So I'm going to get some feet put together, partially. Get the other gun together, and then get it all primed. So I'll uh, see you in a bit. All right, that's all the bits primed. The feet all assembled and primed in black. I've left the edge pieces off. For instance, that's going to be on something like that because when I do the painting, which is coming up soon, uh, the edge pieces need to be done in the insignia white, as does all of the hull and these inside of the ramp. But the actual feet themselves aren't going to be in white, they're going to be more metallics and grimy. So I need to leave them separate. So I'm actually thinking that I'm pretty much done with the assembly at the moment. One last bit that I will do just now. So the ramp I need to paint before I assemble. So I can't do that yet. Put that aside. Uh, these are all of the edge pieces for the feet, which again, say I can't do yet. That's the ramp, which has come out as ever with these, nice in the black. So the last bits that I actually have that I'll be assembling now are the guns. Now the guns, because of not being able to put the feet on yet, the falcon itself is just sitting on the the bottom. So I can't put the lower gun on yet because it's just going to get knocked off. So I'm going to put one gun to the one side, but I'll get the second one in place. It just sits on like that. Uh, actually, no, I'm not going to install that yet because when I paint, I still need to remove the masking from the windows. So, they will need to be insignia white anyway, but I'll do them off and then install it afterwards. So, that is pretty much the end of this section. Uh, the next and final part coming up shortly is the painting and weathering. Uh, as I say, most of it's going to be insignia white and then the details on there. I haven't decided as yet if I'm going to be masking and painting the panels or using the decals that come with it. I think I'll try a decal and see because the the fine edge pieces and these little masking to get round the little edges is going to be such a pain. And the decals, even the stickers on the tiny one came out quite well. So I think the decals are going to be alright. But we'll see. If it need be I can always take them off and reprime, reprint again. But I'm waffling now, so I'm going to call this a night end for this part of the video. Thanks for watching, as ever. Uh, I hope you've been uh, subscribing to the channel and watching the, the previous parts as well. And uh, come back soon. If you click the little alarm button next to the subscribe thing, you'll get a notification when the next and final part of this video comes up. Part 6. It's got to be the final part of a Falcon build. It's tradition. Uh, so, as ever, thanks for watching, and uh, see you soon.